It's a hard choice, favorite memory. I've been um, working in the Apex community for 10 years, so, um, but probably the most excitement when I first started my first magazine 10 years ago, Abington Life, uh, when I got some of those first um, emails from residents that got the first magazine and were just like, this is so amazing and thank you so much for doing this. It was all about the Abington neighborhood. So it was about the families, the kids, the pets, businesses, and then we did events there. Um, fun fact, when I started working with them in 2014, um, they had no social committee for like the HOA because people, you know, it's a thankless job. And so they had disbanded for a while. So I did events for them for free for four years until a, a social committee kind of picked up the, the torch and w went on with it. And they still have an active social committee now. Getting the validation that that people wanted it because <laughs> it kind of started from nothing and I picked Apex kind of arbitrarily and said, oh, that's a good place to focus. So um, it's amazing what's happened in 10 years. By far, it's when I thought of the idea for Positively Apex. Um, I had been working in the community with a magazine for eight years at that point. It was during the pandemic and uh, Christmas 2021, I was actually at my in-laws who live out in the country and near the Virginia line. And there's no cell service, there's not a, a store within, you know, a significant store within a half an hour, so you're kind of stuck there, right? This was before my daughter was born, so I go with my, my husband, my new husband at the time, and celebrate with his family. But we literally sat there and watched the four o'clock, the five o'clock, the six o'clock news, that's what they did. And it was so depressing, you know, with the latest COVID numbers and all that kind of stuff, just all the craziness in the world. And I just thought to myself, this is so, the opposite of what I want my business to be. And I was already doing a magazine where I brought, you know, nice stories for the, about the community, but it was very limited to the one neighborhood. So I decided I need something that is for the whole community that can be the anti-mainstream news. Obviously you can still find that plenty of places, but I, not that I'm being ignorant. I just wanted to spread positivity and the things that were going on in Apex. So even though my dirty little secret is that I don't live in Apex, but my whole life revolves around Apex. I always say I identify as an Apexian. Um, I live in Willow Spring. It's just you know cheaper when I have my daughter to move out there. And now with 540 expanding, it'll be even easier to get to Apex. Um, but you know Raleigh's becoming a big metropolitan area, so it's no different. And I've lived in New York and LA and places. But I. Um, knew when I started working with the community to make myself legitimate, I had to attach myself to a legitimate organization. So I started with the chamber. So I've been with the chamber for 10 years. I'm an ambassador. I was ambassador of the year a couple of years ago. I'm on the board now. Um, and that's just a great organization, especially targeting businesses that I work with in my business. Um, but then, you know, I, of course, I got to know the town and the mayor and economic development and the Apex Downtown Business Association and diff all the different organizations. I do a lot of networking. I lead a lot of networking. Um, so that's pretty much what makes Apex home for me is, I, you know, most of my clients, my business clients are located in Apex and I try to support my clients. So when I come to the dentist, it's an Apex. When I bring my daughter to the dentist, it's an Apex. So my life literally revolves around Apex. I feel like there should be a, a red carpet on 1010 Road from here to my house. And that's just my little road that I travel every day. Well, I'm really excited about the development of the west side of Apex, the Friendship area, New Hill. That's really up and coming. That's where my magazine, Greet Friendship Magazine, is based now. And so it goes to that whole side of the town. Um, for cost reasons, I had to kind of set a limit to it. Um, since I started with Abington, I just expanded that area instead of um, picking a different part of town. But that's where Positively Apex comes in because it's for the whole community, even outside of Apex, to come to my events and stuff. Um, but I'm just excited for my following to build and therefore Apex and my small business clients following to build and more and more businesses to hopefully thrive and be open in Apex and for me to help spread the word and be the brand ambassador in the community um, and continue doing events like I do um, collaboration with the town and you know my business partners. I do events two to seven a month. So. I'm a busy lady, um, but I just want to be seen as the main, I don't know, influencer of the right word, but um, main social butterfly in Apex where if you need a connection, if you want to help a nonprofit, if you have a business, if you have a story to tell, then I'm a great place to tell it.
So my main work is Positively Apex, but what I love about what I do is I do a lot of events through Positively Apex officially, but I also collaborate and I love to have a hand in anything significant going on for the town. So I um, just helped on the planning committee and as publicist for the Apex 150th Gala. Um, I do a lot of help with the chamber, of course. Um, I actually was recommended by the ladies in economic development in Apex to be a Southern Wake County ambassador for this organization called People First Tour that works with visitraleigh.com to get some experience events in Apex. So I've been doing that. Of course, that I, I think of my connections and networking and my business clients to give them more exposure and more you know, financial um, help. And um, I am in lots of networking groups. I'm in a BNI chapter. I go to a, a lot, ASBN, Apex Small Business Network. So that's how I built my business is just by building relationships and meeting people and um, also having the public come to my events and stuff. Like last year, um, every October, I do an annual, what I call the Positively Spooky Pet Fest. Um, it's a Halloween pet festival. We have vendors, we have a costume contest. Usually the mayor's one of my judges. And that's just gotten bigger and bigger. It started in Abington years ago with just their neighborhood. And last year was my first, or two years ago, I did my first public one. And I did it along with a 5K to see what would work. Um, I realized quickly it was two very different events. Um, but last year I did my first one in the back of Beaver Creek and I had, um, it was one of my milestone moments because I had 200 people come and 99% of them I didn't know. So that was super exciting to know that, that what I'm doing, building is working, um, the community likes it. And then a month later I had my annual kids holiday craft fair, which I do at the Halley every year. Um, last year we took over the whole building, we had 60 kids selling things from age three and up, and we had 300 people come from the public to shop with the kids, and then they donated 10% to charity of their choice. So that's kind of a big give back event. Um, my mission is to share good, create good, connect community, and grow businesses. So everything that I do, nothing is just for entertainment, even though I have a, a theater and a entertainment background, I love to entertain. We're doing a talent show next month um, at the Halley. Um, but everything's like, okay, now we've got the entertainment section covered. How can I rope in my business partners and the community organically to um, make it not salesy for them, but have them be a part of it too? Because everything is a trickle down from what I'm doing to my small businesses. So on my website, I have a blog that they can participate in, a community calendar for anything going on in the community, um, and a business directory with landing pages. And in the future, I really have a goal to have a storefront which would be kind of like a, like a cost between a visitor center, um, a souvenir shop, um, maybe have a little library, free library and a food pantry drop off for Western Way crisis ministry, things like that. And just have an outpost where people can hang out, just have a little event, stuff like that. 